six Western fleets will have to fight with many sea drones of the Russian Navy. Autonomous attack maneuverable high-speed unmanned boats have become the newest and most serious problem for surface ships of all navies in our time. This was stated by Nick Childs, Senior Fellow for Naval and Maritime Security at the International Institute for Strategic Studies. It should be noted that International Institute for Strategic Studies is a think tank on military political conflicts with headquarters in London. At International Institute for Strategic Studies, Childs is directly responsible for the analysis and data on sea power capabilities published in the Military Balance magazine. His responsibilities also include formulating and implementing research projects and participating in other International Institute for Strategic Studies publications and activities, including conferences and consulting. He conducts examinations of maritime defense in general, as well as the navies of the United States, Russia, China and Great Britain, and other major naval powers in Europe and the Asia-Pacific region. Deals with naval and maritime policy and strategy, maritime disputes, ship capabilities, surface and underwater warfare, amphibious operations, and maritime missile defense. Childs is an authoritative and well-known Western specialist. During a recent speech, Childs said that the Russian Black Sea Fleet has suffered numerous attacks from Ukrainian sea drones. But now the Russians have some experience and their industry is able to create a large number of their own similar sea drones. Considering the potential and capabilities in the foreseeable future, groups of similar unmanned boats of the Russian Navy can become a huge threat to the Western Navy without exception. The Russian Black Sea Fleet has failed to adapt to some of these challenges. In some ways, uncrewed surface ships and fighting them is not rocket science. I mean, Countering anti-ship missiles is rocket science, but it has flaws that are present in Western and British Navy's training and they are much better prepared to respond to them, the experts pointed out. He emphasized that the actions of the Ukrainians opened up prospects for a potential enemy, i.e. the Russians. Soon the Russians will study this technology, begin to create swarming masses and practice various actions in exercises. This is an area where we see adversary potential where, looking to the future in terms of capabilities, accelerated development and procurement, the British Navy, Western navies in general, will have to face difficulties in terms of support and counteracting them on such a scale. He warned. Nuclear disaster for Europe, Russia launches kamikaze drones over Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Russian troops are using kamikaze drones over the nuclear reactors of the occupied Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Defense intelligence of Ukraine showed video evidence. The defense intelligence of Ukraine's active actions units have found evidence that the Russians are using drones at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The video from the enemy FPV drone was obtained with the help of electronic intelligence. The footage has UT4D.TT marking, which indicates that the drone was supplied by the Russian Ministry of Defense. The flight path of the Russian kamikaze drone runs over the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant units towards the Ukrainian-controlled Nikopol and Mahanets communities, which are under constant Russian attack. Andriy Cherniak, a representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, says that Russians use the territory of Zaporizhia nuclear power plant to launch drones as Ukrainian troops cannot return fire in the 1.5 km zone around the plant. According to intelligence, the Russian troops have equipped launch pads for their drones near the sixth reactor of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. In addition, since the summer of 2023, the Russians have been using the territory of the seized nuclear power plant to train FPV drone pilots. This is done by the so-called Archangel School, which is funded by the main directorate of the general staff of the Russian armed forces. Zaporizhia nuclear power plant is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe. It was occupied by Russians in the first weeks of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The Russians turned Zaporizhia nuclear power plant into a military facility by deploying soldiers and equipment there. The Russian occupiers also mined the territory of the plant. Ukrainian personnel work at the plant, although the Russians sent their so-called management from Moscow. The IAEA monitoring mission is also at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Recently, the Ukrainian military reported that the Russians were preparing provocations at the Zaporizhia NPP. 
In this case, the Russians may blame Ukraine. Ukraine lost over 111,000 troops in 2024, while Russia made territorial gains in this year, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu stated on Friday. Overall, Kiev's losses have exceeded 111,000 service people, 21,000 units of weapons and military equipment, Shoigu said while addressing Russian Armed Forces senior staff at a conference call. The minister claimed Kiev lost 1,000 soldiers due to the demands from the United States and Western allies. In his words, the US and its allies are demanding that Ukraine prevent the collapse of its defenses and contain the offensive of Russian troops at all costs. Furthermore, Minister Shoigu said that Russian troops had taken control of 547 square kilometers of the territory of new regions of the country since the beginning of 2024. He claimed that the Russian armed forces took full control of the settlements of Novobakhmatovka, Semenovka and Berdikai in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region. Meanwhile, Russia's military death toll in Ukraine surpassed the 50,000 mark, according to the calculations of various media outlets and analytical centers. More than 27,300 Russian soldiers died in the second year of Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine. It's estimated that the actual number of Russian deaths is likely to be much higher.